What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jamar, man. I'm back at it again. Today we got uh man walks in on girlfriend cheating. She instantly regrets it. If y'all new to the channel, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to your boy channel, help your boy grow his channel. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like though, man. Let's get it. Can someone just explain to me why men are so fucking stupid? She capping. If you really love me, bro, you would have never cheated in the first place. Now watch what she said when I didn't respond back. Watch this. I live in Louisiana for work, and we got hit by a hurricane. So they gave us a week of leave time to go back home or go where we wanted to go because all the power and stuff was out. So I took a week to go to Alabama to go visit my son. Mind you, I was dating a girl from there as well. So one day I had asked her, like, yo, what you doing? And she was like, oh, I'm about to go bring my friend some food. And usually she specifies which friend she's going to see or do or go hang out with. And I was like, okay, who's your friend? And she was like, why? And I was like, what you mean, why? And I was like, who's your friend? Like, just tell me. And she's like, oh, his name is, for privacy purposes, we're going to say Terry. And she was like, his name is Terry. And I was like, why are you bringing another dude food? I've been done dirty in my past so much that I'm tricked about it. She was like, oh, maybe it's you. You got another girl on the side, blah, blah, blah. Told her, no, I've never been like that in my whole life. In my 22 years, I've never cheated on a female. And anytime I'm in a relationship, it's me and you, nobody else. Fast Thanks. forward now, I'm about to take this eight hour drive to Alabama to go see my child and go see her. Now, mind you, me and her are texting back and forth. And she's telling me like these exact words, like, babe, I miss you so much. You're the only one that I want. I can't wait to see you. You my forever, blah, blah, blah. After she texted me that, I texted her and it was like two hours of just nothing. She didn't text me back, nothing like that. So I texted her, I was like, yo, babe. I texted her like five times, like, yo, babe, like, you good? Like, what you doing? Da -da -da. And she's like, oh, my bad, I fell asleep. I pull up to the parking lot, and I don't know why, but I just had, like, this feeling just come over my body, like, yo, I'm about to walk into some shit that I don't want to walk into. So I already dropped my homeboy off. Now I'm at her place, and I'm walking up the steps, and she sends me another text, like, why is I walking up the steps? Like, oh, I miss you so much, can't wait till you come home. So I... She keeps her door unlocked whenever she's home. So I peep my head through the door, and the first thing I get to see is her laid up with another. He didn't see me when I poked my head in. Like she was turned away from him like this, and he looked up and seen me while he was laying down. So the dude looked up, and he like, yo, you good? And then she thought he was talking to her, so she was like, what are you talking about? And then she didn't see me yet. So he laughs, and I'm like, what you laughing at? That's my girl. Then she perks up, like her ears perked up, and then she's looking at me. Like, kind of, like, shook. And then she turned back and, like, laid back down, like, looking at her phone. And then uh, he was like, yo, she didn't tell me she had a man or nothing. And I was like, yeah, I was going to another state for work. I was like, I work in another state. And he was like, yo, she didn't tell me you not on none of her social media or none of that. He was like, he looked at her and was like, yo, I asked you, did you have a man? You told me no. And then she started screaming, like, get the F out of my house. Both of y'all get the F out of my house. Both of y'all leave now. Da -da -da. So me and him, like. Just sitting there like awkward, like what the hell? And then we leave. Now I go to my car to get my clock because my first thought is I'm about to murk this dude, bro. Like I'm about to go crazy and murk this dude, yo. Like I'm not going out sad. Like I'm about to really punish this dude. So boom, I'm at my car and I'm looking for my clock. About to punish I, remember, him? I left it in Louisiana at a friend's because I it was unregistered and I didn't want to travel with him. You going he comes out sad. the door, he's like, yo, chill. Talking about you about to punish him. I mean, I'm not on that. He's like, yo, I didn't know that y'all was together. Exactly, the so, man told I you that. I swear to God, I put on everything I love. So something clicked in my head and was like, yo, just leave, yo. Like, just leave, bro. I get in my car, right? And I'm about to take off the leave. And she just starts calling me. She don't call me like 150 times, 175 times. And I'm declining all the calls. Then she started blowing me up, like going crazy. Like, answer the phone, please. I'm begging you. This part yeah, really nah. got me. She said, at least tell me that you hate me. Now I knew she wanted a reaction out of me. Like, I knew she wanted a reaction out of me, and she wanted me to pick up the phone so she could justify what she did. And I wasn't, I was like, That nah, nigga put her name as Dirty Ho. So, I'm on my way to my grandma's house now, and I get there, and I'm like, so mad. Bro, you didn't have to put that in there, bro. I'm angry, I'm so angry, because I opened up to somebody so quick and gave them my all, and they stabbed me in the back. She proceeded to say, oh, I really did miss you. Now she's telling me she loved me. So, she capping. She, if you Bullshit. really love me, bro, you would have never cheated in the first place. Now, watch right. what she said when I didn't respond back. Watch this. She instantly changed, flipped the script on me, bro. She instantly changed. Do you know what? You didn't care about me when I told you I cried myself to sleep at night. I hate myself. Da da da. No one cares about me. This right here is just a soft story because she got caught up. Now she's trying yep. to point the finger at me, yep. trying to find a reason for it to be my fault. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, sir. I'm he ain't lying. He I don't know what he talking about. Listen, hey. He ain't lying. I don't believe that bullshit, man. Listen. 
But he didn't bring his pole. And he didn't do the other guy in. He didn't act on any emotion and out of frustration. Nah. Because if he did, things could have turned uh, negative, right? It would have did south. him in, and he could have did his girlfriend in, and then he could have turned it on himself. That type of stuff happens all, all the, the time, time. Believe it or not, guys. Where a man thinks that this woman is gonna be loyal, he's off to work in another state, or he's doing business. Man, or something. I gotta stay woke. He's grinding. He's he's putting forth all he can for that relationship. He's providing for just her. Just for the hoe to go then, do some crazy boom, shit. He catches her in the act, and now he just can't he lose think. his he mind. Can't fathom. He's like, how could she do this to me? And now, bang, 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 bang. Now Michael. everybody's gone, and now he's gone because he gave his life. Right. A lot of women don't understand. He's speaking facts, bro. Man, actually. Put a lot of effort and time and energy in it's just so many women feel entitled and they just think well because i'm a woman i'm going to show up and i deserve him to provide protect and be there for me emotionally and that's not and how it sacrifice. is that's, that's why so i feel to be that, seen right? so that's not how it goes black and in turn tragic anything like that <clears throat> now number two why is this guy in a long distance relationship guys i've talked about it before yeah i ain't if gonna lie that's some simple shit but, uh, 